We're supposed to be listening to another album. Where you at, boss? Where'd you go? Bro said he needs an hour. It's been 35 minutes. All right, no excuses, no exception. Yo, Jimmy Harvey. Hey, my reaction to you. Uh, I first appreciate the kind words. The fact that you, after you listen to alcoholism. Wait, what? Sorry. My reaction to yours after your first two mixtapes. I appreciate. Oh, oh, I see. I appreciate the kind words. The fact that after you listen to alcoholism dealing with life, you said it can rival K dot storytelling means a lot. Oh yeah, that's right. I did. Here's the thing. All right, Sideburns Harvey is one of those artists that I'm going to say. Most of what they put out, ass. Let's get that out of the way. It's ass. Bro records his music on his first album with a gaming headset. A gaming headset. It is clipping the entire time. A gaming headset. Is in context of the Twitter DMs? All right. Okay. So that's, that's the first thing. Second thing, the beats are ass on the first project. Well, that's probably the thing I can give the most leniency to, okay? The rapping. Ass. Okay, let's be honest. There is no flow. The words don't go together that well. However, <laughs> the lyrics, hold on, usually pretty ass. All right. There are songs that could be mistaken for literally being, what do they call them, uh, incel anthems? Just because of poor word choice. All right. And also, they also could probably be. But listen. We got some context here. Context coffin opening roulette. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so for coffin. So the coffin opening uh, roulette. So this is all in her diet. Patrick made these beats in 2019 when I started living with him. There are two songs that I made. Songs where I rap uh, and, and sing where I talk about real shit. This is the first option. Listen to them at once. Oh, I got you. Okay. Uh, and then I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, oh, oh okay. No, this needs a little bit of punctuation here. Let's just see where it goes. Coffin. All in or die. Bro, Jimmy about to pull through with a classic. I'm saying. Motherfuckers ain't ready. This is my coffin opening. Lot of bass here. Hey. If you ask me 2019 if I'd rap again, I'd say probably not. Was perfectly content living at gym, smoking a lot of pot. Hey. But then he died. He was diagnosed with leukemia. God was telling me being complacent, wanted me to become the redeemer. So I obliged, had to grow wings and fly. But then I realized, was trapped in a box, was confined. There were holes poked throughout, it was accidental doing Someone should have told me years ago that I was doing personal screwing But then I met Patrick and he made this fire ass beat this is 2019 was the first time I heard this fire ass beat First reaction one to get back to rapping, instantaneous Why then I thought I'd get killed and become brainless But now I'm here You know what, you thought you'd be killed? You thought he'd be killed if he started rapping again? Doing what I should have done in past years But first I gotta smoke some That much is very clear And you motherfuckers Sorry, was it going that big boy? Mm. was a girl when a Jurassic Park showed in my eyesight. It was at that moment I knew her pussy was a dick sight. It had fossils. Um, Let me be the archaeologist. 
I brought my brush, but I'm not a paler touch. Uh, 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 go uh, 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 I'm melting. Uh. God, I hate this new quote. This shit is terrible. Okay. And see a crack on the sidewalk? Just know that's how little of a fuck I give about life talk. I like to smoke loud. Everyone's wild when I talk about this activity. When I'm in the crowd, I'm the quietest. You sure? I live privately. In actuality, when I rap, I feel like Superman. A fact, actually. Because there are people to save. No time for obituary. I don't fuck whales. I'm not part atrocity. I heard uh... your pants on TikTok. That's unfortunality. I feel like Juice World. I see shadows in my bedroom. Except through the shadows of my demons. I'll probably die soon. Let me smoke. And power uh... Oh my god, the bass. <laughs> hmm. This is my coffin opening. If you ain't smoking, get the token. And I ain't joking. You say you don't like trees, you should retract that. There are trees everywhere. You live in a concrete jungle. Change your habitat. Let me rephrase that. You probably live with the desert at. Cause if you didn't, you'd be trying to hug and eat trees like where koala bears at. I got the koala like, vacations. A being a vegetarian. Except the greens I eat are THC, favorite medication. No hesitation when it comes to speaking the truth. Everything I do is on a laptop, not in a booth. All the lyrics I said on the song came from the top of my head. No pen, no paper, just thinking I'm far ahead. All I'm in the forehead? Dark, that's the motto. If you don't believe in me, change that pronto. Fuck all you motherfuckers. I'm 28 years old. I'm not gonna stop rapping till I'm age 80. May I suggest possibly writing some stuff down? I'm not saying you gotta write it all down. Just a little bit, you know? I, I think that there are a couple moments here that are uh, remarkably awkward due to a lack of um, direction. Uh, there's way too much talk of smoking weed. Including a, a bar which I think is incredibly interesting. Everyone wants to hear me talk about how much I love weed. No. As someone who's been in that position? Literally, no. Not at all. Also, th that one line in the middle raised some eyebrows. Uh, I think I'm supposed to listen to this and roulette together, though, so... We just keep going. I guess. Smoking, yeah. I'm mixing a mixtape. I'm mixing a mixtape. My ears! My music is trash. They can eat my ass with fish paste. Huh? World like this tape. Live a life fear you risk it. Ah. Just drink some ah. clown. Now I'm feeling <laughs> oh, very ow. risky. The next girl I That's see, the beat. I should ask her to shake my hand. Except it's my third one. It resides in my pants. That's assault, brother. Normally I pull down and show it off, but I'm too busy. Ryan rhymes, so I can bear my life. Spit fire on the mic, speak truths that cut deep like a knife. I'm mixing the mixtape. I'm mixing the mixtape. Ah, tape. my ears! I'm about to fuck your bitch soon. You should ask her how my dick tastes. Treat the Stole world that like this tape. Hell yeah, I'm living life risque. Crowned and loud, mixed together, got me feeling frisky. This is my summoning ritual. Smoke that loud. Smoke that loud, son. Smoke that loud. What was the context son. for this smoke, one? Smoke, 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 smoke. <laughs> I rap in the songs where I, I talk real shit. This is just now. <laughs> I'm gonna have hella accomplishments. Wish I could tell the world the truth, but I promise not to tell. Just no shit is in the works. It's the perfect shell. Never. 
I told you motherfuckers it's a classic. You didn't believe me. They don't want to see us win. I'm an elephant. Oh, no, just rhyming the same word. no matter what never lose hope no matter what it shit you gotta cope go through it otherwise you got no story because your purpose is rapping telling your whole life story bro so I'm here oh my god the self rhyme it's been 15 years since the last one church spoke that loud son feels like i'm stricken by a curse spoke that loud son my hard work will be reimbursed spoke that loud son and the crowd will be clapping happily spoke that loud son round of applause for lyricism done effortlessly spoke that loud son. oh effortlessly Killed indeed tissue with honesty spoke that loud son injection shots with potency spoke that loud son i will never stop rapping i love this shit spoke that loud son i yeah. started rapping 2010 for the hell of it pop of it son last time i did i got fucked up soups bleed son only did once can't mess with is this real up. you should do it because i told you to it is and you look i'm supposed to if i hear my own body get fucked up on the two or four was on my hip coding cowboy aka two chains pop 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 for my feet you're nothing without me you'd be dead if it wasn't for me who was the dumb fuck who need guidance i showed the way did it all in silence you were jackass could hear donkeys getting brandish without me you would have finished no one would have panicked simply wondered why that guy was outlandish this mic is you sluggish this beat ain't your rubbish more with the story no matter what you're still garbage i run the shit i can end it all flip in the wrist I said this last time, okay? One thing you can't say about Cyburns Harvey is that this man is boring. <laughs> and you know what? That's something I could say about probably 50% of the requests sent in today. Mother no, exactly. Too advanced to rate. Motherfuckers ain't ready, dude. Motherfuckers ain't ready. All right, bro, about to pop out the basement. Take over the game. Um, coffin opening. It's creative. Uh, probably the better of the two. But, oh my god, some of those lines were so bad. Not even I can recontextualize or spin them. And once again, maybe a few things written down wouldn't hurt. Uh, going to give that a red headphones. Dog. Um, now for roulette. Also going to give a red headphones. Okay. Dog. Listen, there are some really bad, really questionable bars on here, but I think the worst offender has to be the fact that this beat is actually unlistenable. It actually is he designed to give people headaches. That's, that's fundamentally bad. The mic quality, not great. The rhyme quality, also not great. But you know what? It is like, believe it or not, motherfuckers who just joined, you won't even believe it. This is an improvement. The dude is improving. He is. And he's a man with a dream and a concept. And here's the concept for these next two songs. For Water, and of course, the... <laughs> this next song is also after that. It's called uh, Fight Music for Whites. Okay? Apparently, this is an origin story of an evil guy. Uh, you tell his name how he, you could tell by his name 
Uh, he was created and his goals. Fight Music for White is an example of his tactics. All right. And so we got to listen to these two. No skips. All right. Frozen. So this is a character, an evil man. All right. About fucking time. We the best music. Bro says his name like a Pokemon too. See right through like Wooda. Nothing there like Wooda. Easily visible like Wooda. Got dry mouth to Wooda. Pussy white like Wooda. Be more like Wooda. Everywhere there's Wooda. Funny, let me have the song so we can have this conversation. Lately, you've been so pissed because of your position in civilization. Go do something about it. You know your life needs renovation. Too bad you ain't good to shit about it. Too bad you ain't good to shit about it. Please tell me why you're pissed. It's really because of how life is. It's funny because how I see it. You're the one who's lifeless. You're lazy and lack the hey. world to chase after life's finest. <laughs> you ain't good to shit guess. about it. You ain't going to do shit about it. Remember over 10 years ago when I was created? Born out of trauma. Since then, your mind I populated. Festering okay. within until you gave me my own voice. When you unlocked your soul and I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's say I was never born and you still lived with your mother. Let's say you grew up without a father or a sister. You think life sucks. If all that happened, it would be worse, brother. You should be thankful you have a grandmother. If all this happened, you would still be broke. Still living with mother, you would be okay. a big Hey, I'm child. following along. Still be a virgin, never feel pussy. Great sensation. I'm not getting through to you. Here's some translation. The truth of the matter is, without me, you're nothing. I talk shit to you to light a fire under your ass, get you do something. Instead, the peasant life you choose to keep. Living. You're never gonna do shit about it. You're never gonna do shit about it. If it wasn't for me, your mother. Oh, look, I'll put it like this. All right. One thing I will give this guy. You can't say that he's not open. All right. He's open to a fault. But you know exactly who you're getting when Sideburn Sideburns Harvey's on the motherfucking mic. All right. It's a no, no bullshit. You know. No bullshit, just straight bars, okay? Would have sold you for meth. I hope you feel death. You're lacking death. I wish you were death. Fuck you. 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 Seriously, fuck you. You ain't good do shit about it. I see through your veil like Muda. 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 Like Wooda, nothing there like Wooda. It's like entertainment signing. No, not yet. I mount to Wooda, pussy white like Wooda, be more like Wooda. Everywhere there's Wooda. Maybe one of these days you will take my advice. Until then, I will haunt you. Till there's a compromise. Your current okay. life is a waste. One day you'll realize you're never gonna do shit about it. You're never gonna do shit about it. Just remember, I'm the reason you start rapping again. There was no road left, a dead end. I told you rap again, or I will take control. Put you on gun patrol. So you spend life in prison without parole. Your entire life, I laid the path for how you to You know, there's succeed. something going on Still here. You choose rap to cause I'm, a, I'm actually kind pain. of fascinated. If that's the case, I'll allow it. Just don't develop greed. JSA's for 20 God. Darkness personified. Life is an ocean, and yours is a shark. Except you a whale shark. Harmless, only when I depart. Pussy bitch. Why? Without me, you won't get far. You're never going to do shit about it. You're never going to do shit about it. In other words, more of the story. If you're pissed about your life, fucking do something about it. Do it. Do it. Dude, bro me as well on this song. The beat's an improvement. There is a hook. That being said... Oh, I'm not supposed to pause. Alright, fight do music it. for whites. Do it. Alright, hold on. Next song is conceptually connected. I feel like fighting. Yeah. Instead, I'm confined to this horrible body because you refuse to listen to yeah. me. Regardless of everything I say. Yeah. Hey, let me describe. 
Yeah. I thought I always told you to get your shit together. Instead, you repeat your life cycle forever. Hey. If I had the tool shit, I'll give a description of what I would do to cause permanent yeah. affliction. In case guns, bullets, fire. <laughs> you stay away from success, fuck it, retire. <laughs> I try to tell you the truth instead of mediocrity <laughs> you endure. Cause you don't care enough to be better, you won't secure. <laughs> now I'm going to describe what I'll do to you one day. When you go off the rails, why take the tour one day? First, we're going to buy some lean. At the end of the day, you're an addict. That's your bloodline. Struggle scribed, and I go and max it. Next, we're going to get a gun. The way I got yeah, guns, yeah. No names displayed, because that's private information. Now, since we are load up, I'm going to give you two options. It's simple stakes are high like that of an auction. You can either kill yourself or shoot up the universe. Too bad when you the universe. Where you go for being the dumbest. But here's the real Shoot up the whole universe. Listen, tell you what's that's ambitious. You got terrible vision. The fact you think you're going to accomplish anything. You said you do is laughable. You die as a never do anything. Easily back. Sure, you can try to get a new job, but that won't happen. Look at you, you look mainly retired. I remind you often. It's funny because I laid the path for your kingdom. Instead, you took the wrong exit. You thought you had freedom. You'll know anything. Shit, I'm the reason you're alive. If I didn't exist years ago, you would have I mean, the mic's still if clipping. Like, my own body, I'll go out fighting. this beat is kind of crazy. Not the R word? Bro is literally reflecting how people are calling him that. That's fair. Oh, it's literally blurry face. I am fascinated. Best song of the album so far. Absolutely. I like this angry type beat. Oh, his beat was great. Tell uh, Patrick he the goat for that one. Oh my God, that beat was fire! Listen, fight music for whites. One of the most difficult to listen to, but also one of the most focused and passionate songs of the album. Water, on the other hand, a lot of technical issues. Definitely not unfixable. Well worth mentioning. You know what? For water, hard to listen to. Red headphones. Dog. Probably about a three. However, fight music for whites? Off the name alone should already give you a smiley ball. I have to retract some points, of course, for uh, still having some ma major technical issues and maybe a lack of... You know, I mean, the stream of consciousness rap style can only take you so far, too. Uh, would love to see you take these ideas and maybe construct them in a way that's a bit less stream of consciousness, more focused, you know? I think that'll also make you feel more accomplished in the process, too. It's it's one of those things where you got, if, if you put in the work, you really stress yourself to do it, you really push it, the reward is endless. I'm telling you, you make something that that you're proud of in that way, Shit's over, you know? It's, it's a done deal. Gonna give that uh, last song a shrug. Absolutely amazing title, I know. A title alone should give it a 10, but no. All right. Uh, content so next we got Life with Snakes is, uh, is about Mound Street. It's connected to Life with Gangsters. <gasps> Gangsters? I've been wanting to make a song about Mount Street, but now is the perfect time for me to do oh, it. Oh, yeah. Wanna know why? Yeah. Roll up that Yoshi. It's time to turn up. Turn yeah, up. that's yeah. why. Straight out 2012, the heir of Mount Street. 
This is a song about Mount Street, so it goes something like this. Nowadays I talk to no one from there, people I don't miss. Hmm. Living my life, just minding my own oh, this business. Oh, this beat's fucking sick. Over to this day, never got forgiveness. That's this beat's life fucking with great. Snakes. Hmm. Life with snakes. Hmm. Life with snakes. Hmm. Life this with beat's snakes. fucking sick. Hmm. My name's Jimmy, do the negativity, had to move away from my home city, then return surprisingly to the place I neglected previously. Went to Dunbar, tried to move quietly, but made friends, true generosity, then went to Mount Street, closer slightly, but unfortunately, hey. I was living my life, just minding my own business, but got fucked over to this day, never got forgiveness, that's the life with snakes, hmm. life with snakes, hmm. life with snakes. Alcoholism dealing with the life of life with gangsters and sons of us. Life with snakes. Oh, it's all connected. Life with snakes. Smell the stench. Excuse my French. I'm merely standing by. But you feel like an avalanche. I'm so damn high. That's the life with snakes. Snakes. Life with snakes. Snakes. Life with snakes. Snakes. Life with snakes. Snakes. There were people I was friends with, they liked the fact I was a rapper, someone thought I'd cheat on tests Too bad I'm not a slacker, hey. all my schoolwork is best kind Speed run everything, fresh time Hide all loot outside, but there's no chest to find Been to a party, that was fun Beer pong was, it was fun. That was the night I smoked K2 fake weed garbage, hella done All I uh -oh. wanted was be a cool kid, but now I'm tripping out I don't know what I smoked, but it shows how I wasn't loud I was living my life, just minding my own Oh, this beat is so good! Fucked over with the drug day. talk? Never got forgiveness, that's the life with snakes mm. Life Tell with me. snakes mm. Life with snakes mm. Life with snakes mm. One morning I was told to hold on to someone's weed Till after school I obliged Cause I thought it was the right thing to do <laughs> But then I got caught Got expelled right there on the spot Damn so Should've attacked the snake non-stop I was living my life Just minding my own business But got fucked over to this day Never got forgiveness That's <laughs> the life with snakes Snakes Life with snakes Snakes Life with snakes Snakes Life with snakes mm. Car hijacking, Walmart magic, I'm looking super fly <laughs> Begging for change, we'll never change, we'll stay duper high That's <laughs> the life with snakes mm. Snakes Life with snakes mm. Snakes Life with snakes mm. Life with snakes mm. Snakes Should be his ass, why well, seen him last, don't remember his name Fuck that guy, who cares, he is merely lame That's the life with snakes Oh, I agree, Brandon, this one's slaps There you go. That's your song about Mount Street. Bro, your song about Mount Street fucking slaps. Now, here's the thing. All right, I actually can relate to this because here's the thing. I, I did. I had a pretty good background. Uh, just, you know, I had my both my mother, my father, and a sister who took care of me, got me things when I needed them. Good kid. Good family. Let's see where this is going. Mad City. Place I grew up sucked ass. None of that shit mattered. Couldn't make friends, couldn't talk to people. People sucked. They sucked there. It was horrible. The environment was just absolutely terrible. It felt like that. It felt like that constant feeling of betrayal every day. Like you couldn't look at anybody. You couldn't trust anybody. It was literally life with snakes. Describe that in a way. It's cutthroat. You know, it's somewhat stream of consciousness. But that beat. All that shit, I'll tell you what, you pulled it off. I had a fun time listening to your song. I'm going to give you a smiley ball. It's an improvement all around the board. I'm going to give it to you. All right? That's an all around the board improvement, you know? That's what we call a win. That's a motherfucking win. Bro, watch out. All right, Jimmy, Jimmy on some new shit. All right? Now we got uh, the song Pulse.
It's Missed Out Refined. Okay, so it's the song Missed Out, which I imagine was probably from an uh, earlier project, but it's better. Okay. Long go for do. Motherfuckers ain't ready. This is a song about bitches. But here's the thing, though. I don't go out and get these bitches because they're not worth my time. Oh, Last that's time why. Last see was a tutor and boots situation. I'm at the point in my life where it's either have a friends with benefits or have a wife. I found one and not the other. Take with that what you will. Hey, listen. Pussy is a drug, the strongest of the all. Seven dirty sins, lost is one. I cherish the ball. What the fuck? Don't care about the result. Hit him with the pulse. Don't care about the result. Hit him with the pulse. What am I listening to? Hit him with the pulse. Don't care about the result. I remember my first sexual interaction. 2007, memorable child action. I was 13, she was 15. There was tongue on tongue traction. She was in the shower. Oh, I don't need to hear about. Want me to be the retriever? Too bad I was a kid. Back then I was stupider. There was a girl who thought I was cute. Should have played while she was single. Got my dick sucked when I was 16. Her gagging is my favorite jingle. Got pussy two more times. But you can't say he ain't real. You can't say he ain't living that motherfucking lifestyle. You understand? Motherfuckers ain't ready. They ain't ready. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. You understand? They don't want to hear the truth. This is them. Tell me the most awful lies. They don't want to hear it. I was not aroused, caught on my war, smoked so much you thought I was repping for it. Brisk squad, brisk squad, brisk. Then the real Rick squad deal happened, right place, perfect time. She was drunk, no effort was done. I promise it's not a sexist crime. Cause the next month huh? that I can fuck her any time. That's assault. I think we got a Molly all in her champagne situation here. Where, uh, that probably wasn't the intention. It was probably just sound cool, but, um, that's assault. That's, that's assault. <laughs> yeah. My life is a tragedy. I wish I had a majesty. I wish I could do magic. That was last I seen her naked. She was a sexy dime. Hey, listen. Pussy is a drug, the deadliest of them all. The feeling stronger than loud, the greatest of them all. Nowadays I get no bitches cause I don't go outside. But that might change soon cause pussy is long overdue. Hit them with the pulse. Hope it's a good result. Did you say with the Hit him oh, with the, the pulse? The pulse, not result. the balls. I said with the pulse. Hope it's a good result. Hit him with the pulse. Hope it's a good result. I remember my first time at strip club, 2017 for Fred's birthday. No, did I know that was a big girth day. Half naked girls everywhere, just like the movies. Too bad what I did was <laughs> not so goofy. Spent eighty dollars while I was there. Ten on Bombay Gin, feeling like Juicy J. Sandstorm was playing. Dream turned to reality that day. Ironic, a sandstorm is how I felt on the inside. Think I wore a red shirt that day, look like Bris Bob, Bris Bob, Bris. I remember that. You nearly busted nut off stripper booty till I stepped in and told you what's up, cause you's a bitch. Bro, it's blurry face. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Bro, he's living that life. You ain't ready. Motherfuckers ain't ready. They ain't ready to hear the truth. I'm telling you. I don't know if I'm ready to hear the truth. Maybe I can't handle the truth. Um. If you ever change anything, uh, yeah, uh, let's just say Sideburns Harvey. If you ever change anything, don't don't let it be your honesty, all right? Because goddamn, <laughs> bro is really putting it all out there on the table. Not only is he putting it out there on the table, he's sharing it with the world. I'm I'm impressed. 
That being said, this song is a tough listen. Like, I don't really know what it's trying to be. Is it, like, supposed to be a club song? Is it supposed to be a conscious hip-hop song? It's stylistically all over the place, and I feel like also thematically all over the place, to the point of where uh, listening to it more than once feels like it's not an option. I'm feeling a red headphones for that reason. Dog It's tough. But again, bro's a, bro's a certified fucking thug. Next song, All In or Die. Ooh, spooky name. So it's the title track. Uh, it's about me rapping again and the connection to the cool kids uh, united, and it's about why you started rapping. I see. Bang, bang, bang. See ya, Jesus. You <laughs> Jesus ready? has left the building. You ready? It's about that time again. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Come on, follow me. All in or die. Life used to be easy, now it's hard. Should have known the fun to start, but instead I didn't cherish life's true reward. The prospect of living, and I'm not talking about being social. I'm talking about your goals, where your mindset is. All in or die. Let me give some context. Start okay. rapping to impress the cool kids, regardless if it gave me stress. I was six or seven, first time I heard rap on the radio. Mid 2000s, what time for rap? Too bad I didn't know rap would give me the mindset of all in or die. Was a kid, didn't know how to create songs. Only knew how to rhyme and make jokes about how my dick is long. No one cares, gotta do better. Someone should have wrote me a letter. The key to success is to have the mindset of all in or die. Bro's got an idea. He's got the right idea with this song. You can hear that. Back when I had no cash, hated my voice. Like he, he's on the right track. Wasn't my choice. But what is is have the mindset of all in or die. I stopped rapping and I believe it was 2014. Ran out of things to say. Oh shit, bro, be ranting now. Feelings a certain way. Always talk about street things, even though I didn't live this. But then again, I was a kid having fun, saying whatever sounded the coolest. Was it writer's block or was it lack of creativity? Probably a mix of both. I can say that. Bitch, gang activity. I'm in the muff. I'm at the point in my life where I'm tired of being a peasant. My ancestor was one. Trust me when I say. I sense it. Everyone has a purpose. Just gotta find it. And if you can't, within your mind, you gotta rewind it. Did you see him turn a page? What makes you happy is something you were good at. You write this one down. Grind will pay off. No concern for where you stood at. Walk a million miles trying to figure out why I'm here. Plenty of people I know. I've had a lot of peers. Light bulb flash. I got an idea. Strong cheers. It involves having the mindset of all in or die. Now I'm rapping again. Bitch, I'm alive. Haven't felt like this since last time. Pussy was in my life. I'd always hate hearing my own voice, except when I started rapping again. All things. You know, I'm not sure if you realize this, but there is actually a body and a mind attached to pussy. You know? I, I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, but th there's actually more to be gained from it. You know? There's a whole life experience attached to it, actually. To the mindset of all in or die. Everyone who's important to me will get the pain. Friends, family, the city will feel the parade. All in or the die. presence of Jimmy presents people with life changing opportunities. All thanks to the mindset. Jimmy of says, I know. <laughs> in or die. Bro, the goat. He don't give a fuck. Is off. Wait and see. Trust me when I say rapping is part of the prophecy. You don't have to believe me. Gotta respect the hustle. Hey. Fortune comes to those with the mindset of all in or die. I mean, to be fair, he is speaking genuine facts on here. That is true. I can relate to this once again. All right, all in or die. It's like it, like true fortune and you know success does come to people who have that mindset because there is no plan B. It is basically you get it, you and you can't imagine a world without it. It's some real shit. I was actually spitting on this song, all right? But motherfuckers ain't willing to listen. They ain't willing to open their minds, you know what I'm saying? 
I know something everyone else don't, I can't speak on that, on that, there's no point, I will become a legend who demands large amounts of reverence, oh, doesn't work, on or die, this mindset, part of my existence. <laughs> Was a fucking bop. Back to back bangers. Well, maybe not post, but uh, life with snakes and all in or die. Not bad. All right. Definitely improvement for the first two projects. That's for sure. I want to give it a strong shrug uh, to a smiley ball. Once again, I, I, I do struggle with the flow here, but man. If you don't have the right idea, I don't know what the right idea is. All right, the dude's got the concept. The beat was pretty trash. I'm going to be honest. The beat was terrible. The recording quality, terrible. Bars, some were pretty terrible. But at the core of it, the dude's right. I can't deny that. It makes it impossible to hate. In fact, the dude's doing his thing, his passion. I can't be mad. Plus, I'm pretty sure that's a real gun on the cover. So I don't want to piss him off. Kendrick is shit. Bro, Kendrick is pissing himself right now. You understand? The next song, Monkey on My Back, I believe is the name of it, right? Yeah. Uh, it's about dipping, a.k.a. chewing tobacco. It's connected to the Grizz uh, Grizzly song where using the term monkey on my back. It describes your addiction to that. Oh. Next song is about addiction. This isn't a joke. There's naked pictures of me all over the internet. Like what you see? I hope you do, because there's plenty more where that came from. What is going on? Who's jacking off to this? It's not me. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's your family. No naked pictures, but it's time I expose a part of myself. Something I don't talk about, but do lot don't care about the smell. An example is when last I had sex. Afterwards, I went dipping. Guess what she didn't ask me back then? Monkey on my back, scratch and claw, and all the sorts. First found you back when I was. Oh my away. god. Made you my pet. Wow, wow, you look wow, cool wow. In front of everyone. And maybe a girl would ask for crazy fun like. Monkey on my back, get the fuck off. Long as I want is a week without you. Gotta shrug the loss, empty the magazine, uh, replace it with excellence. Here's an example of proper equivalent. Uh, Monkey on my back requires no equipment, just needs my brain so it can latch on no resistance. Conscience and finances have officially been relinquished. Chains of girl asking me this extinguished. Monkey on my back gives zero fucks the type of creature where at its leisure it can cause bigger cuts, larger damage, permanent, longer I stall severance, I worsen it, but yet regardless of what I said, I still find fulfillment. Monkey oh. on my back, <sighs> I'm sick of you. Go away, shoot, scram, want nothing to do with you. Grab you by the tail, send you flying, I prevail, but yet you're From attached to me like a ship <laughs> Uh, I would do that if it wasn't for this stupid monkey should never mess with you I'm a clueless dummy I may be stuck with this you is but performance you'll be in the future afterwards I have ready? a whole and Antina Monkey on my back go back to the world I liked you better when you were Bro, on the what TV when is I was this? a child get you a leash, chill out freak goddamn sheesh, I smell you right now I will oblige capiche Monkey on my back, I despise you, when you're cut off, what then will you do, my gun is loaded, ready for war, I'm tired, I want no more. Did someone really made this beat? Were they instructed to do this? There's no way this is serious. Bro, 
bro, I'm the biggest fan of Sideburns Harvey, and I can't defend what the fuck I just listened to. Bro, Dog. What is this beat? What is this sample being chopped and manipulated? Like, look, I get it. The addiction part, real, but like, wow. <laughs> this, uh, what? <laughs> That's a hot pack of ass. Look at the last song title. <gasps> Yo, no way, dude. I lost my way again through the storm, through the wind. Yo! Why the ball to that song? I haven't even heard it yet. Next song is called Peasant. All right. Hold on. Working not to be a uh, peasant. That's where I stand. Uh, Tank, this, sorry, Tank, this is mental health trilogy. All feelings from this come from my old job. I hated that place. The fourth mixtape is a concept. I'm about that. I see. So this is the third mixtape. There's already a thing about his fourth. Motherfuckers got, dude's got one, two, three, four, five, plus five in stock. You know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with him. Peasant. So I was strolling through my rhyme book And I found something that I had written Back in 2019 I remember the day I wrote this okay. I had gotten home from work And I was just pissed about everything Jim had died a couple months prior And I was just tired of everything Wanna hear what I had written? Yeah, let's hear it I'm tired of life always biting me in the ass I'm tired of not being able to grab the rings of brass Tired of everything, tired of being mentally isolated like a 100k ring Tired of always being pissed like a badger who can't get honey in his breast But if I give up now, the legacy of JSH won't begin Talk to God day, you schmuck loud like dot 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 But this in 2019 was pissed about everything I don't talk to God day, lest I trade no remembering How about living the life of a I think you shouldn't be writing this down Cause there's little good to present Except the idea of creating blood Why does it sound like the my Mac Mine's camera like sound? Bounce, no question, life used to not be like this Shit was different When I was a kid, always planned on making lots of money Didn't realize the job was how it was done How funny 2016 when I was 21 but so What I is happening in the mix? Well, I found my wife back then I fucked up The mistake which I could erase Still enjoyed my job But then Jim died Since then I felt everyone turned their back on me Left I'm sorry, what is happening in this song? But my mental is unpredictable one week I'm chilled, then for two weeks is that the beat? Is combustible. Half the time I it don't sounds know why. I try like to an export error. Is it mean for the environment? Probably both. Me versus JSH, my consultant, whom to I spoke, told me no one cares about me. Don't see me like a ghost. I always make ends meet like an extension cord. And I think it's time I find a different occupation to explore. Or maybe I'll continue to live Big life switch. the same way I have been Yo. for so years and never accomplish it except on whatever video game gave me forgettable gear. Move over, God, you motherfuckers! You ain't ready! Like letter, but no one accepted it. Peasant lifestyle. In time, I will forever reject it. Peasant, <laughs> I'm working not to be. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> yeah, I pay rent to survive, but that don't mean I can be alive. I smoke loud, but Dang. I gotta work to make Dang. money to supply this addiction. But gets difficult yeah. when I feel like I'm ridiculed almost often. Is it cause of who I am, or is it all imaginary? Even though once upon a time that exact thing was there, it's gone permanently. Pettiness sought perfect devices. I try to stay in silence. A door to strive or threaten to shoo up the place. If that happened, I'd end the violence. Better now than what it was what did you just years say? ago. I must add, even though I still have my moments of anger few days, whether or not by people I interact, maybe it's all in my head, but that don't excuse why I live like this. I can't do this forever. I'm a mortal man. I'm not timeless. Yo, but there are good moments that happen there. I rewind this, cause she is on the other side. When we reunite, it'll be glorious. But can't do that if I'm not working. If I fail, demons are looking. Ready to grab me and send to hell. No one joins. I'll never stop. Will I get a new job? Maybe, maybe not. Keep brain on lock. On the whole shop, turn into million dollar stock. Gotta keep rapping, keep 
beat to be beats. Stay snacking, never lacking. I've even learned to make my own beats. Need practicing. What I'm trying to say is that there are times where I hate my job and my life. But the only way I can feel normal is that I spit bars on the mic. I know the truth. If you knew what I knew, you would. So I don't like this song uh, because it literally is just like a yap session, as I'll call it. It's a yap session. Here's what I think. I think you should have read what you wrote down a couple of times, rewrote a couple of words, no shame in that, and then read it back. Keep the intro. It's cute. It works. Gives good context. Makes it seem pretty, pretty down to earth. But once you start actually trying to read through those words, this shit becomes a mess. Here's what I suggest. All right. If I was in your shoes, this is how I'd do it. I would have a piece of paper and imagine like four, eight bars or whatever, right? And just start writing words in those pockets where you would imagine the beat would be. Just so that you can visualize where the words would be placed in the area. This is even just an exercise. It doesn't even have to be a song. But you see what I'm saying? If you segment it, and then you can literally use it as if you're writing music. Like you're writing sheet music. I think this is going to help a lot when it comes to just learning, constructing tracks. It's going to help fix flow. I, I think that that's probably a good place to start. Um, in my opinion, though, hasn't a lot of yapping. But it had a beat switch, so I'm feeling... I'm feeling... Okay. Uh, it's probably more like a red headphone. Dog. Yeah, humming along the instrumentals. You know, just like try to catch the rhythm of the songs, you know? Just try. If you can't do it the first time, don't worry. It's taking me fucking years. You know, I knew how to freestyle really good in sixth grade. You asked me to do it, couldn't. All right, you know how many years it's been? 12, 13, now I'm finally able to do it. See what I'm saying? It doesn't mean I stopped and then all of a sudden, no, that's been me putting words together for years and years and years and years and years. So when I just go off on a stupid freestyle about some bullshit, that's pretty much me taking everything I've learned and also the confidence going with the flow to make a, a great rap about killing people's sons. That's called being a, a, a fucking prodigy, all right? Be so passionate, gotta keep working, and one day I'll own the establishment. I'm a peasant working not to be, I'm a peasant working not to be, not to be a peasant. I'm working to not to be, peasant working not to be, I'm a peasant working not to be. Straight up, straight up, straight up. <laughs> Okay. In life, there are many. Oh shit! Yo, he's doing the thing. Oh, yo. In life. All right. Uh, peasant, die where I stand. So I think this is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So die where I stand is also. Um, mental health. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh, all three of these songs are a mental health trilogy. Okay, they all go together. Outcomes, but regardless of which one you pick, only the strong survive. Keep a bulletproof mind. Keep your mind in life. bulletproof. Standing on the mountain, looking down below, wondering if anyone cared if we're still the first. Bulletproof mind, keep your doors closed. Die where I stand, life I never chose. Ah! Die where I stand, cannot allow. Only the strong survive, can never bow. Die where I stand, die where I stand. Alvin? Cannot allow. Only the strong survive, can never Elmo? bow. Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. 
die where I stand, die where I stand, would rather do that than die on my knees and hands, is life worth my time or am I better off elsewhere, like a ghost I don't exist, at least that's the feeling in the air, sometimes I'm chill, other days I'm filled with rage, beast locked in a cage, the shit you shouldn't engage, sometimes work out filled with anger, other times by things people say, feel disrespect of regardless of apology sent my way, is the world the issue or am I, or is it an overreaction, feel like I'm making. not liked or respected, what do you mean? not even a fraction, overthinking goes something deeper, facts are unknown, I promised myself I would never die alone, mother is right, I'm not normal, except it's not the reason she thought I wasn't normal, there's a darkness from within that talks nonsense, if I wasn't rapping I'd be dead, that's a promise. That's a great promise. What is this hook? Mr. Morale bonus check. Straight up. Straight up. Ultra local master. do that than die on my knees and hands? Is life worth my time or am I better off elsewhere? Nah, I'm an earthquake trying to make a tear. I get pissed off and hate my life and myself and feel like if I died, nothing would be felt. No sadness, no tears from anyone I know. Maybe for two minutes they would. Who the hell knows? There are times where I wanna give up on everything. Sleep all day, not care about anything. But I'm always reminded why I'm here. The knowledge I have can make even me suffer fear. Cause the vision can only exist if I exist, must persist. Even on the days I hate my life and feel no respect. I feel I got no friends after everything. Can't get in ever. Die where I stand except I stand. Okay, so I'm gonna put it like this also. This is a harsh reality. If I can't even read what you write down without having to really take some time to look over and be like, oh, you know, look, I'm not telling you you got to have perfect grammar, but there's literally no grammar in what I read from. you. I'm not saying that that you got to completely change. I'm just saying if it takes me time to read your shit, it's definitely going to take you extra time to read your shit. Meaning that when you get in the booth, and you start reading your shit, any hesitation is going to come through in the music. It's something that I know deep down you probably don't want to, you know, like you want to get in the booth, you want to, you want action, but these are little things that if you take time for, right, you take a little bit of time for it, it's going to go such a long way in terms of making you feel even more confident when you're saying words. Some of the best shit that I've ever written, when I say it out loud, I feel godly you understand like i i've had some flows in some songs where i've started going off and i'm just like oh my god this is smooth i want that feeling for you you understand walking forever off the dome you like jay-z yeah but some stuff is written down Did you get a better mic? Flow delivery has gotten better with each new mixtape. You're right, it has. I tend to write too much within a bar, which That's messes up the flow. Got a condensed word. Mind, oh yeah, no. Here's the thing. I mean, like, you got a lot to say. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? And like this album, it's all you, it's all your thoughts. I wouldn't want to change that. But again, it just comes down to reading it over and rehearsing. You know, it's like an actor doesn't just go on stage. And yes, rapping and singing and whatnot is a lot like acting. Actor won't just go on stage after glossing over the script or, you know, having no practice, even if it's improv, you know, they got to at least understand fundamentals and what to do in the situation. And I feel like with you, in this uh, particular situation, the more practice you get, like I'm seeing with each project, all right, you start practicing on the right things, you're going to excel even faster than just 
slight improvements each little mixtape. You know what I mean? I'm talking drastic improvements. I'm talking going from tripping over your words to slaying a track from the inside like a like a track you stab it in the stomach. You know what I mean? So. That's, that's some of the shit I feel. I just get pissed off sometimes. And my sometimes You're rehearsed beforehand? Often. Well, then keep doing that. And it seems to be worked. Sometimes it's over nothing. Sometimes it's literally over nothing. And yeah, this rap shit helps me a lot. Okay. Normally I sit here and talk shit about Brr. you, but today Dang. we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to say something motivational to you in my own special way. Okay. Want to know why? Because you're a tank. I've seen you grow like hills of snow. I've seen you go toe to toe, deal with things. Is this a good or a bad thing? I've seen you get tackled. I've seen you since you were tadpole. I've seen you live in a crack. Okay. But mind you why you're not dead and still alive and breathing Cause we're gonna take over the world in time, easy retrieving So what they are non-believers, why do you let it get you angrier? They're like a fever, high as fuck with no relief -er. The point I'm trying to make is, failure's a non-option Gotta go farther, life is like an option Cause you're a tank, no matter what, you're not allowed to give up Cause you're a tank Cruising through the battlefield known as life Will never die Even when fuel is running dry Cause you're a tank Normally I talk shit and say things to get you pissed To the point where you wanna go and shoot shit But wanna know why I do it? Could life, Garvey do it AKA, change your life up That's not disputed That is concluded Action speaks louder than words But yours is lacking motion Gotta take the lead Take hey. the risk, escape the distortion <laughs> You're starting to gain erosion I can tell when your face was frozen When you found out your mom died And see me in your reflection Why are you so emotional? Your problem is easily solvable You know just as well as I do That you're unstoppable Simply well, I can tell you rehearsed this one. It's easy, you got two feet Scared of new environments You gotta be shitting me How you expect things to change When you don't put forth the end all the geniuses went all in And if you fail, there's a lesson out of it The point of my speech is Change comes from within After all, how do you think Find This it, is supposed to be driven Cause yeah. you're a tank No matter what, you're not allowed to give up Merely take your emotions Turn to the music, that's how you live it up Cause you're a tank Cruising through the battlefield known as life Will never die This shit actually is kinda lit you is running dry Cause you're a tank this shit ain't even that bad. I'm gonna be honest. You got a better mic? You got a classic on your hands, alright? Can you imagine this? Better mic? You got the vocal personality. It's rough. It's honestly kind of charming. Honestly, not bad. A uh, strong shrug. Means uh, closer to a smiley ball. Because you would tank, is kind of lit. You know? It is genuinely a motivating track that, again, technical problems. But, um, beat goes hard. Concept is sick. I'm, I'm liking where you're going with this, man. Yeah, you're genuinely, Jimmy, like these last two albums were not that good. In fact, I'd say they were ass. This project, eh, sure, it's got its bad moments, but honestly, shit, shit I ain't hating it. I'm having fun with it. You know? Never forget. So, this song, uh, literally undisciplined, swaggerific, refined. Oh. I think is another song, which, if you can tell by the name, is um, a song that exists. This is so a 2010s beat, but that's okay, because that's a time period I'll never forget. Among other things, I'll never forget. 
Never forget the good times, never forget the bad times. Decent amount of both happened, like such and such that time. But now's not the time, because huh? like daylight savings, I'm now it's not the time. behind. Can't rewind, don't got nine lives, like felines. Never forget to smoke loud, never forget where I'm from. 937, they know hey. how, where many drugs have been done. Been on hey. some, not my thing, but I'll take some Vicodin. Or maybe lean, but I can't do it, or I'll be a victim of addiction. Never forget my friends, never forget, ever. Barely talk to any of them, but haven't forgot about any of them. Everyone who's associated with Jim, the real ones, not the deceivers. Just know, when I blow up, I'll repay any overdue favors. Simon Tarvey, aka Jimmy, that's me. The one who smokes so much love can pollute the whole city. Backtrack to the last hat that I owned that someone stole. A friend did it, can't comprehend why that's the path they chose. Snap that bitch. Steelers, flashback to older pair of sneakers. Adidas would like a hundred dollars. We're red like gang members. I don't like cucumbers, even though I never tried them. But first time I tried cards, I was encumbered. Body number after that tolerance was hiding some. I've seen shit that's frightening, son. It's not Halloween. <laughs> Why you got a lightning gun to strike me down and electrify my chance again? Shit done. That's a shame, cause I was merely wandering for fun. Just know where I go. Green grows like farmers and crops. Run up on me in self defense. Have no gunners and props. Just my mere hands and also my brain. It's like deals versus vans. It'll only cause pain. Guess who's the van? It's fucking B. B. What you expect? I always feel no, Brandon's. Like I'm no, me and Brandon are in the same respect. spot. There are times where I reflect without looking at a mirror. Bro, we're holding on to our gold chains for our lives, bro. Our life is like a choir. Sometimes up, other times down. Bro, Depends this who wants song. to be a millionaire has to be too. Self discovery, find where you belong. <laughs> Never forget your purpose. Never forget your service. Everyone is not worthless. Gotta find the right instance, cause the end can be instant if you're not consistent. And everyone's like the place you go to gain fitness. Once you master your craft, you become the illest, the realest, so much so you demand acknowledgement. And if they don't abolish it, years later they'll be filled with astonishment. Pat on the back for the accomplishment, the future's written stone, star alignment. I've seen some embarrassing shit, didn't in hair shakes. I think he might have trait. overreached a bit me. here. Never forget my past, never forget the cast of characters hey. I on this journey on mass. Some people are dead to me, I don't mean walking dead, more like AMC, a missing. Name covered in red. I should get inked instead by two broke. What? Red. That'll change soon. Never forget. I don't get Things it. What is happening here? Soon. Never forget. Stay rapid, Patrick. Keep producing. Never forget. Legend the making. Never forget. I will not stray away from the goal. Never forget. So many things I'll never forget. Hopefully, you never forget me. Okay. Never, right. ever, 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 ever forget. Huh. Yeah. Certainly interesting. So. Oh, this beat. Oh, God. All right, don't laugh. Just play the sound bite. Shout out Rat Boy Ronnie. Bro, that's got to be in a song. That shit bars. All right. We've reached the conclusion for the third consecutive time the third what? conclusion bro what is this beat tape. you know bro, this beat 100 percent certified ass three mixtapes a whole trilogy in about a year pretty crazy pretty crazy a lot has changed a lot don't tell me this is just but throughout this entire musical journey there's a couple people i have not mentioned so it's best i do that or else what? My homie Grizzle died 10 years ago. Cause of death was from a drug overdose. Ironic, cause two hours after he died. If you read this, it's too late. My Drake dropped, didn't feel right. Last I seen him, he was face down, laying down, thought he was asleep. Except he was, fentanyl caused his soul to leave. He was dead. I could have saved him. I can add that to the list of things. This is a little all over the place. He was my friend who taught me a lot. Kid about 
was friends, he would defend, ops he fought, he was lively, energetic, was really protective, pack mentality, you mess with one, you face all, you would need prosthetic, his demise was pathetic, I could have saved him, that is someone I will never forget, one of these days I'll get a commemorative tattoo, that's dedicated to Grizzle, he's practically a relative too. I know he's proud of me for evolving and becoming an adult. Too bad I always feel like his death is my fault. I love you, Grizzle. I'll redeem you and see you one day. And when that happens, we will hang I've out. I've been streaming all day. How can I go to sleep with a song this scary? Before I die, the world will know of Grizzle. That's not a prediction. It's a spoiler for Rizzle. For Rizzle? literally is Rat Ronnie. My dad died, and I'm talking about my biological one. Year 2020, the year of horrible fun. It wasn't because of COVID, it was drug overdose. And you wonder why loud is what I love to overexpose. Mother didn't want me to ever know who he was. My sister found him, and when I met him, it caused a lot of buzz. Friends surprised, mother had angry eyes. I felt no animosity, I just wanted to know who helped create my life. Got his number, started texting, catching up, talking about everything. Eventually, he told me... This flow, though, is, why he is a nightmare. ...victim of addiction, iron and blood caused friction. Told me to never repeat his decision. That's why he was missing. He even had other kids. I have distant relations. Two sisters I'll probably never see. I'm the older brother. I'm a role model, but unapologetic. Book I love Stuart Little on the track. Yeah, you think? Maybe a little, yeah. My mother died, and it had nothing to do with me. 2021, two weeks. It really is a song that mirrors the original song by Ronnie Radke, though. It's just kind of fascinating. Kind of respect it. I cried as soon as I seen my reflection. Then cried more when I listened to Headlights by Eminem. Cause deep down, I know I'm the cause of her death. If you knew what I know, you would understand why. It's a good song, though. It's a good Eminem song. This is why I'm rapping again. My soul's filthy, need to be cleansed. Turn my pain and suffering into music for the enjoyment of friends. My mind is a tree. Everything Everyone's saying, damn, still streaming. We're the listening to a classic. How am I supposed to sleep? Consumption. I will gain redemption. I love you, mother. Regardless of what happened. my way through storm and rain I will be on the other side fuck the pain hey they don't want to see us what a song album of the year just out of nowhere yet you goddamn right but you know they don't want to see us that was a journey yeah, it was. It was a journey, all right. Uh, final song is funny. I don't know how to rate it. Uh, if, you know what? I'll give you a smiley ball for having Rat Ronnie on there. Um, but it was pretty much the worst thing ever. I mean, God, this literally was unlistenable. However, uh, what you've created here is a major improvement from the previous two projects. I, I think that there actually is something to be said that with time, you actually seem to be figuring it out. Uh, to the point of where, I don't really know. Like, I mean, the first project you sent in, I gave a 20 out of 100. The second, I gave a 20 out of 100. Pretty much uh, feeling 
basically a double of that score as I'm feeling a 3 plus to a 4 minus. Now, fix your damn equipment for the love of God. All right? Please. However, some massive improvements on this project. I really feel like with the next project, see, we doubled it from a 20 to a 40 out of 100. Bro, it's about to go from a 40 to an 80. All right? Sit down, focus. You already have the concept. All right? Your job. Take that shit. Take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? Really hone in. Don't lose your personality, though. But hone that shit in. Get a new fucking mic, for the love of God. It doesn't have to be a million-dollar microphone. But damn, that mic sucks. All right. No, <laughs> no, Lottie. I'm out. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. I want to thank everybody for being here uh, on this stream. I do hopefully plan on streaming again tomorrow. Don't be surprised if I don't, though. As again, I've been overworking myself. So uh, appreciate everyone for being here, and I hope you have a good rest of your night.